In this video, I will be demonstrating how to merge additional sensors to your Interact question results. In this scenario, I have question results from a drill down on machines with vulnerable SQL Server applications. However, I would like to additionally add the IP address and operating system to my current results. To do this, we can select the Merge button at the top right-hand corner of the results table. From here, we can select how we want our sensors to be integrated. We can use a saved question. We can create a question by typing it out. Or we can build a question with the question builder. For my case, I'm going to use create a question. Since I'm looking for IP address and operating system, I'll go ahead and type exactly that. A little bit of a typo there, but we can see that the natural language processor was able to figure out exactly what it is that I was looking for, which is this question, get IP address and operating system from all machines. So I'll go ahead and select that. From here, we'll notice that there are now two additional columns to our results, IP address and operating system. From here, we can export these results as a CSV file. And we could do that one of two ways. One way is by selecting each individual row that we actually want to export, or we can export the entire table. To export an individual row, we can select the checkbox on the left-hand side of the screen, and then select the export button right above the results table. We are presented with a couple of options here on how we would like to export the data, including changing the file name and selecting whether or not we want to include headers in our export results. Keep in mind that all the results will export as a comma delimited CSV file. If I want to export the entire table, I can select the export button at the top right hand corner of the results table. From here, we see similar uh, configurations that we can change. But in addition to that, we can also uh, toggle this flatten rows checkbox. This only occurs if we have multiple results from a single sensor result, such as the IP addresses here. Now, before we export, if we wanted to change our merged results to different sensors, or if we wanted to remove them altogether, we can do so accordingly with the edit button or by clicking or selecting the X button here. I'm happy with what I have, so I'm going to select the export button. I'm going to change the file name accordingly to vulnerable-systems underscore ms-sql for Microsoft SQL. I'll include the headers and I will not flatten rows. So I'll select the export button. And from there, I will now have the exported data saved directly to my system. 